Today, Utah Governor Spencer Cox defended his decision to endorse former President Donald Trump in the upcoming election. That was one of many questions he took during his monthly press conference today. The move came as a bit of a surprise as Cox was a vocal critic of Donald Trump in the past. He said the recent assassination attempts against Trump highlight the need for unity in America, and he's hoping to work with the former president even if they disagree. But I, but I am hopeful, and, and I, 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 I have to be optimistic, and I will remain optimistic, and I'm going to do everything I can uh, to, uh, to, 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 to help him and, and, and others to try to, uh, to bring our country together. Now, I, I want to be clear that unity does not mean that we, we all agree. Now, the governor also spoke out about the death of 12-year-old Gavin Peterson here. The West Haven boy was allegedly beaten and starved to death by his family, despite several reports of child abuse. Governor Cox said in part that DCFS does a great job, but they need more staffing. He did, however, reject the idea that there needs to be more oversight of homeschooled families. We're never going to have government big enough to be living in people's houses um, to, to be able to prevent all of this. Um, that, that's, that's just not how it works, and it can't work that way. Um, the people who, who are accountable for this are the people who abuse this child, and, and they are going to be held accountable, and I hope they rot in hell. The governor went on to address several hot topics like Amendment D and the Great Salt Lake. We'll have the full story on our website for you. That's abc4.com. You